have you ever wondered why do the letter c sometimes take the sa sound and sometimes the ka sound if yes then you are at the right place hello all welcome back to a new video so a lot of learners face problem with english spellings and pronunciation of certain words so today's video is dedicated to all of you who feel that english is hard trust me after going through all the facts i discuss in today's video and the upcoming videos most of your doubts will vanish and you will enjoy learning so stay tuned to this channel for more such amazing tips and tricks related to english and if you enjoy today's session please comment down and share with your friends without further ado let's move on to the first fact have you seen the letter q is always followed by the letter u that's because q doesn't have a sound of its own and need the sound of the letter u example queen quilt square equal do you see that in all these words the letter q is followed by u the next fun fact is that in english words never end with v or j we use a silent e at the end of the words ending with v for example cave c a v e the sound of v is prominent but we add an e which is silent we never say kv or pv or active e words ending with j will take the spelling of ge or dge and the sound will be of j for example cage collage college edge the next most important part is why do c sometimes take the sound of s and sometimes the k sound well there is a rule to this if the letter c is followed by e i or y it takes the s sound for example city c i t y here c is followed by i so it will take the sound of s or center c e n t e r c is followed by e so it will take the s sound or cycle c is followed by y so it will take the s sound but if the letter c is followed by any other letter except e i or y it takes the sound of k example cup cot case there is an exception which i will deal with in the next video the next amazing fact is if a word ends with y and before y there is a vowel and we need to make it into plural then we will just add s example boy will become boys look at the spelling of boy b o y before y there is a vowel so to make it into plural we will just add an s or toy toys key keys but if a word ends in y and before y there is a consonant then to make it into plural we need to add i e s for example baby will become babies why because before y c it is b b a b y b is a consonant that's why to make it into plural we will have to add i e s or diary will become diaries why because r is a consonant before y i hope many of you got your answers to some of the questions that you had stay tuned to this channel for more such content and please comment down below your valuable feedback and if you have enjoyed today's session please let me know and share with your friends till then happy learning thank you